Welcome to The Pulse. I'm Mariam Namazi here in London. So, celebrations in Spain, but can the party last? Supporters of the People's Party were cheering in the streets of Madrid last night after winning a landslide victory in the country's general elections. Below it, every single industry group on the IBEX is down, with financials, telecoms and basic materials all suffering the most. Now, just moving on to the state of play on the bond markets, you can see borrowing costs for Spain, they're continuing to rise. It is margin. Joins us in the studio now. And you were making a comment there, David, at the end of your report about whether or not the markets are going to give Spain enough time to get their act together. So what are the options? if the country does get priced out of the bond market. And it looks as if, well, I mean, it's not going really to their benefit today. Uh, setting the scene this week. And so what impact has the election had then on the wider European markets? Manus has details on that for us now from the markets desk. Manus. Man a very good impact on his health. Well, Lloyds are now saying that Mr. Orta Azario is recovering quite well. And as you can see at the bottom of your screen, I want to get more on this now because I'm joined by Peter Chatwell, fixed income strategist at Credit Agricole. Good to see you again, Peter. Nice so uh, before we discuss the reaction there in the bond markets, how optimistic the process and the lawmakers' response mm. for just being too slow when it comes to uh, making spending cuts? What's the risk of that happening again? Um, well, I think nothing is... Has... ...to continue to, for it to be even low as we get to the end of this year and early next year. Um...